This morning, another mass shooting in America. Oh my God, he's getting his rifle out of his trunk. Authorities in Tulsa, Oklahoma say a gunman killed at least four people at this medical building and wounded several others. It's so sad. The school shooting now in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Around 5 p.m., police on the scene three minutes after getting the call about an armed man at the medical office. And just one minute later, authorities say officers made it to the second floor, where they found the victims along with the gunman, who they say died of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's absolutely tragic that it happens in any town. What happens in our town, I'm just glad that our officers got in there as quickly as they did. Officers say they searched hundreds of rooms in the five-story building looking for any more victims. This man racing to the scene, relieved to get a message from his mother who worked on the campus. She just showed me what was happening and there was only like six cop cars at the time. The fire truck and they were rushing people out. Investigators overnight did not reveal a possible motive, but a Tulsa City Council member tells a local news station the shooter may have been targeting a specific doctor. The gunman was not immediately identified, but police did say he's a black man between 35 and 40, and he was armed with a semi-automatic rifle and a handgun. The violence in Tulsa comes after 15 mass shootings nationwide over Memorial Day weekend alone. And just eight days after the shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, and 18 days after a gunman killed 10 people at a supermarket in Buffalo. This can really happen anywhere, and yes. it's very scary. You can't even go to a store. You can't even go to school. Nope. Now you can't even go to the doctor. Oklahoma's governor called the shooting a senseless act of violence and hatred. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.